Ising is joining me now. He spoke with residents out here about this incident. Christian, what are they telling you tonight? Well, a lot of people in Zapata look toward fishing tourism as something that keeps the business coming in. Well, tonight they're uncertain about what the future may hold, but they hope that those tourists keep coming out. The silence was broken when noises started last night. We heard a horn, kind of like a fan horn at a basketball game. Oh, we didn't know what, what was happening. Folks here say they wondered why a helicopter was flying overhead. I figured they were either looking for somebody or something had happened or whatever. Falcon State Park is normally a getaway. Last night, authorities were collecting evidence, searching, putting clues together. It's a speculation about what happened that worries bait shop owner James Bendley. People hear about things that happened down here and, you know, and they freak out and say, well, you know, there was a shooting on the lake or there was a this or that. Right now, Bendley says winter Texans are here to fish. Business here is pretty much, you know, if fishing is good, people are going to come down here. Today, those people are David Kirkpatrick from Indiana, Mike Blaze and his girlfriend from Quebec. From my point and for most everybody that I know, we go out there fishing during the day. We don't worry about anything. If we see something that makes us uncomfortable, we'll leave. Bendley says he hopes visitors today will come back. Yes, uh, yeah, we feel safe. That they won't go back home for good. Well, it's good conditions out here, good temperature, good fishing, and the more people that come out mean more risks for problems to happen. Well, law enforcement says they will be prepared tonight. At Falcon State Park, Christian Mumpricing, Channel 5 News at 6.